Welcome to Data Center Nation. My name is Ambrose McNevin. Today I'm joined by Heiko Ziat and Heiko working for CBRE. He is business development manager for CEE, uh, GWS uh, DCS. Heiko, welcome to Data Center Nation. Hello, Ambrose. Um, I'm happy to be here. Heiko, I'm would you give us an overview of some of the DC real estate and investment perspectives for the Central Europe, uh, Central Eastern European market? Yes, uh, Ambrose, it's, um, it's really interesting to talk about this because we are recognized at the moment that the asset class of a data center in the real estate market becomes more and more attractive so that um, more and more companies are interested to invest in data centers and this will expand the, the market um, for, for the whole region, Central and Eastern Europe. We also um, understand that the private equity market um, are more and more jump in the data center market. So we not only have operating companies at the moment and in the future, we also have uh, investment companies. They're only searching for a good invest and see that the data center market is a really um, growing market and it's a good invest to invest in data centers. The last thing that I want to mention about um, the invest is that the companies and the operating companies that are normally uh, going to the flat market uh, can change their business uh, about these cloud services and say to their clients that it is possible to bring in some tier two markets together. And this is what we see at the moment in the tier two market like Zurich, that there are more and more hyperscaler going to the tier two markets and change their services between flap and tier two markets. Now, CBREs Q4 report from 2022 uh, says, and if I, if I could quote one, one line from it, capacity is an increasingly limited commodity across Europe's largest co-location data center markets. So what, if any, impact is this going to have on markets such as classed as tier two, such as Zurich? More and more hyperscaler move also to tier two markets like Zurich, Warsaw, Madrid, Milano, and bring in about cloud services a strategy to to bring scale this and we recognize that this have a big impact in the tier two market because normally the markets like Warsaw, Zurich or um, Milan have the enterprise business locally the financial business locally and now the hyperscalers jump in and this have a big impact because um, the market is grow uh, more than the normal process in the last year. So is, is that driving the prospects for the tier two markets then, do you think? Is that, is, that a, is that a positive? I'm thinking from, you mentioned the hyperscalers. I know that when you look at the number of cloud regions that they want to localize, that would indicate that the tier two markets are the next natural place for, their, for, their, for them to land. Tier two markets are normally grow in um, in a circle, circular way. What we see at the moment is that some tier two markets are moving from this um, two year rhythm to a continually rhythm uh, and grows every year. And this have an, uh, a really impact. And here we see it in Zurich that Zurich is nearly going to this market and maybe this will change from a tier two market in the next years to one of the um, big markets. So what is happening in Zurich in terms of supply and demand? Are the characteristics of that market changing to become more like the more established mature markets? Supply will dominate the whole scale in the next few years. Um, so this is also the profile of the demand the me is the main drivers are the large hyperscalers and their clients the um, core customers the cloud providers however medium-sized companies and the public sector are still in their digitalization process and this will have a big impact on the um, demand as well um, we see that uh, Zurich is a very very attractive market for real estate investors and also for the new um, 
partition of these markets, the uh, private equity companies. Fantastic. Hiko Siats from CBRE, thank you for speaking with Data Center Nation. Thank you, Ambrose. It was a pleasure for me to be part of it. Thank you.